Hey all, welcome to the Fire and Water Cooking Podcast. This is episode one. Welcome, welcome. We're going to talk about barbecue, grilling, smoking, and sous vide and how they can all work together. Thanks for joining me and follow along with us. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from fire and water. Well, hello, guys. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Uh, Welcome to the Fire and Water Cooking Podcast. My name is Darren. I'm the host. And uh, just kind of want to... This is my first podcast for the Fire and Water concept. And I just kind of want to give you a history of what Fire and Water Cooking is all about, where we started, where we're going, what we're doing. Um, I got interested in uh, sous vide about two years ago um, and started uh, cooking. I got a sous vide uh, cooker for Christmas and started playing around with it and really got interested in how um, I could use it with barbecue. I've been doing barbecue for 30 plus years, been cooking for, you know, 40 years of my life. Uh, The first 12 years of my uh, working career I spent in restaurants, working at various different restaurants, um, from fast food to sit down to, you know, table, weight tablecloth restaurants and um, actually got into the banking business after that because I didn't want to work the uh, restaurant hours. So, but I've been cooking pretty much all my life and learning and uh, doing all all kinds of different cooking. And barbecue has always been a favorite of mine. And when I started doing sous vide, it really intrigued me. And the first uh, connection I put uh, with using it in, in with barbecue is, you know, barbecue is low and slow, but sous vide is lower and slower. And they both complement each other really well. And uh, I got really involved into uh, learning how to use it and incorporating the two, uh, watching a lot of different videos and reading a bunch of different things. Amazingribs.com had uh, posted some articles about it watched some actually some bigger barbecue YouTube guys do uh, some sous vide cooks in combination with barbecue and it really got me um, interested in putting together a uh, Facebook group because there were some Facebook groups that just dealt with sous vide and there were some Facebook groups that just dealt with barbecue but there really wasn't uh, many that did a mixture of sous vide and barbecue and using them together and incorporating the two so I decided I was going to start doing that because I wanted to help people learn how to you know, do what I was doing and creating some really good food by using the uh, methods of sous vide, barbecue, grilling, smoking all together. Um, so that's how it was born. Back in May of 2018, I started a Facebook group, which is still active today. I've got almost 6,000 members and it grows by almost 100 members every week. Um, if you look up Fire and Water Cooking on Facebook, both the f- Facebook group will come up and so will my Facebook page. Um, from there, that started to grow. I started uh, thinking I could probably show and teach people a little bit better by doing some YouTube videos. I had watched some earlier videos of Malcolm Reed and some of the others, T-Roy Cooks, uh, Russ Jones, uh, Greg Mervich over at Ballistic Barbecue. And I thought, you know, I could probably do the same thing, start a YouTube channel and teach people how to use these cooking methods together. And that's what I did. So I created the Fire and Water Cooking Channel on YouTube, which have over 100 videos now and over 1,600 subscribers. And that's also growing on a daily basis. So from there, I decided to start a web page. The web page I put together is just pretty much to uh, back up the social media and YouTube channel and the I do have a blog on there that um, I kind of hit or miss on what I'm going to post. I don't get a whole lot of activity on the website overall. I do get a ton of activity on the Facebook group page and YouTube channel. Instagram is starting to grow. So now I've decided I want to start doing this podcast to help those who maybe aren't on Facebook or Instagram or 
and uh, don't want to watch the YouTube channel, but maybe like to listen to podcasts. So, so here we are. This is our first episode, and hopefully this can grow as well. I'm going to uh, try to get some guests on in, in future uh, episodes. Um, talk about, you know, answer some questions that people might have. If you go to the Anchor podcast app on either the um, iTunes app store or in the uh, Android store, I think there is a function on there where you can actually email or voicemail me uh, questions that I can answer in future episodes. I'm hoping to do at least two podcasts a month and um, help to address some uh, questions and answer some uh, questions that people might have. But um, also, I am going to discuss some of the cooks that I've done in the past, do some interviews, like I said, hopefully have some people on that we can interview and discuss um, the methods of sous vide and barbecue. There's a few people I have in mind already. So, But um, the big thing is going to be just discussing... Now, I can also just do barbecue questions. If you have questions of basic how, how to how to cook a brisket, you know, the old-fashioned way, just by using a smoker. This is not just going to be, you know, using both of the methods together. We can talk about them separate. There's people that like to just cook sous vide and sear on a pan on a, on a stove. So that's fine as well. And there's people who just want to cook on a smoker or, you know, cook in a Kamado grill. And that's fine as well. We can talk about all of those. So we're not going to lock ourselves into just doing sous vide and barbecue. We're kind of open it up to all the, the cooking methods separate as well. So hopefully you guys can join us, follow along with us. And hopefully this podcast will grow just like the YouTube channel and the Facebook group and page have grown. So I'm not going to take up a whole lot of time for this first podcast. Just kind of introducing you guys to what we're going to be doing hopefully you'll get some good information out of it and um, you'll learn some new tips and tricks and see how you can use either one of these or both of these uh, cooking methods and improve your cooking overall so that's it for this episode uh, thank you guys for listening hopefully you can check out our facebook group and our Facebook page. Like I said, just search on Facebook for Fire and Water Cooking. And you should be able to look up both of those, the group and the page. You can join our group. Just answer the questions. There's a lot of inter uh, activity going on there. Our Facebook, uh, or actually our YouTube channel, Fire and Water Cooking. Um, we've got over 100 videos right on that channel. Also, Instagram, Fire and Water Cooking. You can look us up in, on Instagram as well. Uh, Twitter, we do have a Twitter account. It just doesn't get a whole lot of activity just because Twitter is not really made for this type of um, interaction. But um, check us out, and hopefully I'll do another one of these podcasts um, in a couple weeks, and we'll have a lot more material to go over. This is just an introduction to what the whole concept of fire and water cooking is. Hopefully you'll join us. Make sure you subscribe so you can be notified of the next episode that will come out probably in two weeks. So, Thanks for listening. Hopefully you guys will get something out of it. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and I will talk to you on the next podcast.